Hey guys, welcome back. I found these long planter boxes thanks to you guys. So today we are finally gonna be potting up three of my creepy crawling philodendron because three planters are as many as I could find, at least in this white color. So we are gonna be potting up some philodendron today. I'm so excited because they have been um, long needing it. Well, two of them have been long needing it and for different reasons, for opposite reasons actually. So we'll get into that when we start doing it, but let's just go ahead and get started here. I'm super excited. Um, but let me tell you where I found these planter boxes. They are called, um, just 16 inch white rectangular planter. Um, these guys I found at Target and thanks to one of you lovely people who watch and comment on my videos. So thank you so, so much. Um, actually that same day that um, I read that comment, I was like, oh, I'm going to Target. And the comment was obviously, um, hey, there's long planter boxes at Target. You should go check them out. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I actually, um, I like, day job <laughs> for now at least is um right across the street basically from a target so i ran i ran over there after work one day and scored these and like i said i found three of them so we'll be repotting three plants and i want to say i had the receipt yeah so i can tell you how much they were they were eight dollars each so not bad at all it was 24 bucks for all three of these and i feel pretty good about that they are fairly um small like there's not tons and tons of root room but i don't need tons of root room yet so yeah let's just go ahead and get started i'm gonna do the one that needs it the most <laughs> so let's do it well maybe it needs it the most we'll we'll talk okay i'm gonna resituate you so we can see everything <sighs> All righty, so hopefully you can see me all right here, but I have got my first planter box. And then this is the plant that I wanna repot first. This is my Philodendron Gloriosum. And as you can probably see here, it's in a really, really small pot. It's a super, super small pot. It's actually a hanging planter, also from um, Target. I just got this like last season, but it's the same like line it looks like basically of planters from Target. Um, just like easy, cheap, self-watering, quote unquote, you know, maybe, maybe not technically really self-watering. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, this guy's definitely ready for a repot. I don't even know how it was able to push out this latest beautiful little leaf here because it's like so, so close and pushed up to the edge of the pot. So yeah, it's time. And this leaf is like about ready to come off. So maybe we'll pluck that off of there as well. Okay. Put this right here for you. So <laughs> this is Chelsea. You guys may have seen her before, but um, she is my mother-in-law's dog. Little Chelsea, so girly. So you might hear her snorting around. Can we get some sounds? Beautiful. Thank you. I'm gonna set you right down. You can lay down right there, okay? You can just hang out or you can go with the other dogs. Whatever you want. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and repot this guy. Oh, here's my boy. Hey, Six Toe. Hi, buddy. You see your girlfriend? Six Toe loves Chelsea. Huh? You love her? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my potting mat here on the table. That way I can hopefully try to not make so much of a mess, but let's be honest, just in like getting this set up, I've already kind of made a mess, so no big deal. <laughs> Doesn't fit this table quite exactly, but that's totally fine. Okay, let's go ahead here, move this other guy out of the way. I've got a big old thing of soil right down in here. Nothing crazy, it's just some plain soil. I also grabbed some cactus mix because when I went to look for more orchid mix, they were totally out. So I thought maybe the cactus mix would be a little bit chunkier. It felt a little bit chunkier in the bag, but let me kind of show you what it looks like. It's really not that chunky. There it is. Could be way chunkier and it feels very wet. Very wet, which is interesting. Maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. But yeah, let's go ahead and take this guy out of here. Oh gosh, I feel like he's gonna be pretty stuck in there. I'm gonna kind of use my trowel to loosen everything up in here a bit. Come out the backside. 
This is definitely long overdue. I keep like telling myself I'm gonna do it. Oh wow, those are sad roots. Okay, he's definitely ready for a larger pot. Um, these roots are so dry. Well, not so dry. They could be drier, but they're pretty dry. So let me try and show this to you here. A lot of roots happening. And on the bottom, a lot of roots happening. So here's the front side. And there is a little growth point happening right here. Hopefully you can see that there. Um, so yeah, like I said, definitely time for a larger pot. But every time I kept like telling myself, okay, I'm gonna repot it as soon as this leaf hardens off, then I would like miss it by a couple of days where the leaf would harden off and then I'd be like busy or forget about it or whatever. And then by the time I realized there was another leaf like already about to pop out and I didn't want to disturb it too much. So I feel like we're at a pretty good spot. This guy just fully unfurled and um, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna put some soil along the bottom of this planter here. Oh, it feels so wet, but this guy's gonna like that for sure. Okay, so I just got a little bit of soil down in there. Not a ton, not, not a ton. Okay, and then I'm just gonna situate this guy in here. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to loosen some of this soil up a bit to kind of make this all fit, which I didn't wanna do, but it's just what we have to do. Got a lot of Lekka balls in there. So yeah, it's essentially just gonna sit too high in the pot as it is now. So I just need to loosen everything up. That way I can kind of situate it in there so that it'll fit properly for me. And I'm gonna make sure that I have the absolute like end of the cut here or end of like the nodes at the very edge of the pot. That way it has all of this space to grow. So it essentially has half of the planter left to keep on growing lengthwise, which is amazing. And now I am just gonna backfill. I'm gonna try and get this as close to me as possible here. And that growth point was initially covered by soil. It's still like really working on itself. So I'm not gonna worry too much um, if I cover it with soil now, you know, not too worried. You're so snorty. If you're wondering too, this snorty never stops. <laughs> she is constantly snorting. Okay, kind of nestle that in there a little bit more. I'm gonna put some more dirt on the front side here. So it's a little bit more supported because it kind of seems like it wants to lean forward, which I guess is normal. It'll all settle and kind of figure itself out in a few days. Once I have it back in his normal spot and after I water it too, that'll help everything settle in. Do I have water? No. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. I think I'm going to leave this sad leaf on for now, but I think that looks really, really good. I'm so excited to see how this guy grows in. <gasps> yeah. Wish him luck. But this is again, the philodendron gloriosum. I'll give you another look at that new leaf. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love this plant. One of my, no, it was my absolute like top wishless plant and she lives up to the hype for sure. No questions asked, <laughs> definitely lives up to the hype. Okay, I'm gonna set her to the side and scoot her over. I can't believe it. She looks so much happier to me already. Like just having more substance in that soil, it looks just, oh, it looks like it's gonna be really happy. Okay, let me sit on my butt here because my feet, oh. My feet are falling asleep already. Oh, now I'm super low. Okay, I'm gonna adjust you a smidge. Bear with me. We're gonna shrink down a little bit. Okay, did I just get a bunch of dirt on me? We're gonna save the worst for last because it stresses me out a little bit. So we're, we're just gonna hold off, okay? So the next one we're gonna do really isn't in like desperate need. I mean, it is and it isn't, you know, it is because she's reached the end of her pot here. You see that? 
but it isn't because it still looks so beautiful. It's gonna be really hard to get the whole thing in frame here, but this is my philodendron uh, pastazanum. She's so pretty. This is its newest leaf. It just hardened off, It's or just um, unfurled, excuse me. It's not like fully hardened off yet. It's still very floppy and shiny. Look at how beautiful. Can you see that? I hope you can. Such a gorgeous plant. Oh my goodness. This is the older leaf here and then the oldest, if I can show it to you, it's right here. The oldest leaf. Um, but yeah, it's still such a happy plant. Such an easy, easy plant. Um, it did have spider mites. So, and the damage is very apparent. Let me see, what's the best leaf to show that to you? Oh, I think it's this leaf. So you can really see that spider mite damage kind of along those veins there or like the textured parts you can really see. Um, hopefully you can see that at least. But yeah, definitely a lot of spider mite damage on there. It almost like looks like there are still spider mites on there. Um, but I check and wipe it every single day. It never wipes off. So it's just, it's just the damage, unfortunately. But this guy is definitely ready for a longer pot. And it always topples over too because it's in like a pretty small pot. There's not tons of roots. It doesn't feel like crazy root bound. It's honestly hard to tell. It might be root bound. It, I'm just assuming it's not because I watered it pretty recently. So I feel like what I'm feeling is just compacted soil. Um, but yeah, it topples over all the time because there's a lot, there's a lot going on. Now I'm in like a canopy of pasta. I feel like I'm so shaded. Um, okay, here, let's spin her this way Ooh, don't fall okay so let's go ahead and get this out of the pot see what we're working with i'm gonna try and loosen it up a little bit just by kind of squeezing yeah it feels nice and kind of like airy at the bottom so i don't feel like it's too root bound Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so listen, it's much more root bound than I thought. Wow, okay, still, I think I'm gonna just, oh God, yeah, it's really root bound. Look at that, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look at that, there's so many roots down there. Okay, but still, I think I'm gonna try and just kind of loosen this up and just kind of see what we're working with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Try not to like let anything snap here. Ma'am, you're so snorty. Okay, will this fit? Oh no. Y'all, I don't know if that's gonna fit. That's like putting on a pair of pants that's too tight. Oh, let's see if I can loosen this. So I can make it a little bit more narrow so it'll fit in there. Cause I do think that like, it'll have plenty of room for all of the roots in that planter, like that long one that I wanna put it in. I don't think it'll be too tight of a squeeze. It's just a matter of kind of getting it out of the shape of that wider topped pot and letting it form into the shape of a more narrow rectangular pot. So yeah, I need to just loosen this up a little bit and not be so scared of hurting the plant, even though that's like the last thing we wanna do, it'll be okay. Oh my God, I'm so out of shape. You guys, I haven't been to the gym in like a long time. Um, <laughs> and this is making my arms so tired. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if we kind of, Aha, uh -huh. okay, I think this will work. So I'm just gonna set that in there and then I'm gonna backfill the rest of it, which feels wrong, um, but that's just what we're gonna have to do. And I think it'll end up being fine. You know, it'll figure itself out. It's definitely gonna have more room to grow now, which is what we want. Oh my gosh, I'm showing you absolutely nothing. I'm so sorry. There you go. <laughs> now you can see a little bit more. Oh gosh, I'm gonna try and backfill using some of like its 
old dirt to get around the old base of it here. I don't know why I called it the old base. It's just the base. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna need to stick some um, like chopsticks in here just to give him some support until he kind of stabilizes so the roots like can let the whole plant stabilize, um, which I don't think will take long. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just flung dirt onto the little one. Let me flip this around again for you. Can you see that a little better? Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, I think that's what I'll have to do is just stick some chopsticks in there. That way it'll have some support. But yeah, I don't think I'll have to keep them in there for more than a, a couple weeks. Get some more soil back here. Wow, I'm definitely gonna need to vacuum after this. Holy crap, holy. Okay, can you hold yourself up for like two minutes while I get chopsticks? Ugh. I should have planned for this better. Okay. Because <sighs> I'm definitely going to have to do this for the next one too. Okay. Ah. I'm just going to have to bring this over here. We'll, we'll all be right back. <laughs> oh, Chelsea. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my God. She has dirt all over her. Poor little thing. Okay. She's fine. A little dirt on a puppy's no big deal. I've got some chopsticks and I am just gonna kind of situate them on either side of this guy just to kind of give him a little bit of support. I don't even know if this is gonna work, but we are gonna cross our fingers. I feel like it still wants to lean like this way. To the left, to the left. Get okay, that cleaned off. Get that node more visible, just so it doesn't want to like rot or anything. I don't know. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna have to call it good. I'm gonna put it really carefully back in the grow tent. Um, in a way that it can like lean up against stuff and <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we're just gonna have to call that good for this one. I'm just gonna be really careful with him. Um, so hopefully he doesn't fall over, but I think this is gonna be happy after he figures himself out. So yeah, I'll try and get a clip of him like in the grow tent um, when I'm done here so that you can see what he looks like in there and how he's kind of like situated, but I'm just gonna put him back in here. Oh, beautiful, okay. I think this will be just fine. Let me show ya. There he is. There's the pot, it looks good. All right, I'm back. Chelsea has left the building, she got picked up. Um, sir, can you not? I had some toast with everything but the bagel seasoning on it. So six toast helping himself to the, excuse me, to the leftover bagel seasoning. Hi, buddy. I love you. Okay, you can't step on the roots of this plant though, or this plant at all. No, no. Sir, my dude. You gotta go. You gotta go back the way you came. Go. Under the table. You gotta go the way you came. There you go. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay, there you go. Go. You got it. Nope. Go. Under here. Go. Under there. Go. No. Very good. Good job, buddy. 
Wait, way to make way to make it a whole thing. Good job, bub. Okay, I also made myself some coffee. I'm not gonna lie, this is like my third coffee today, so. I might have another one later. <laughs> We've made enough of a mess today, so let me just kind of scooch it all to the front. Okay, that way I can set the pot right here, shall we? Alrighty, let's do it. Let's just freaking do it. We've got our pot here. We have a lot of root. Like so. Okay, you know what, you guys? I think this is gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Let me get this pot right here real quick, right in between my legs. Where'd my trowel go? Oh, it's too far gone. Oh, it's right next to me. <laughs> I'm giving up so easy. Okay. There's a little root that keeps trying to stick up. There we go. Ha, huh, that already stays up. That's shocking, okay. This guy needs support, but for a whole different reason. He's just gangly. He's a gangler. Okay. I earned some coffee. Okay, now, let's see. I think what I need to try to do is put a little bit more soil right there first. But I'm gonna scooch this guy off to the side here so I can try to move all the soil out of here. And put it back in my soil pot. So, here we are. This is what we're working with presently. It's really hard to show you because he's humongous. But what I think I'm gonna do, to kind of spin you around here. Hey, how's it going? Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is actually, oh, we need a little bit more soil still. And then I'll maybe finish my sentence. <laughs> there we go. Pack that just a smidge more, get that root down there. Okay, as I was saying, I think I'm gonna put some chopsticks in here um, and then try to like use the chopsticks to try to like anchor the um, petioles together somewhat because they're so all over the place, um, which I honestly might not even need the chopsticks for. I'm gonna pause you right quick and grab some, oh. grab some plant Velcro. Maybe, where is it? Got some plant Velcro here. So let me just see if I can kind of tie this guy to this guy. Again, I don't even really think I need the chopsticks in there for this. So if I don't, I'll take them out. Like if they're not really doing anything. That guy I feel like actually was doing something. So I'm gonna put him back in here and kind of hopefully, I hope that this guy will kind of help anchor everybody together. I'm gonna try and just make this a little bit tighter. And then I wanna see if I can anchor this guy up, but I don't really think that's possible. I think this guy's just kinda like chilling over here, which honestly, it's not a big deal. Not that big of a deal. Okay, so now, now this plant just as a whole looks more intentional to me, and let me kinda show you what I mean. Because before it looked like all the leaves like weren't looking in the same direction. And now it kind of looks like they are with the exception kind of of this little weirdo down here. But all of these other guys are kind of facing the same direction now, which I think is fan freaking tastic. So now when I set it somewhere, I'll set it like this. And now it looks like all the backs of the leaves basically are also facing the same way. So this is perfect. Okay, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I think. I think actually they all turned out really, really great. And I've got like two, 
two or three more plants that are kind of crawlers that could use um, these pots. So I'm gonna be stopping at Target again, um, like later on this week, and hopefully they will have gotten some more of those in because I think I'm gonna try and grab like three more. All right, you guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me and repotting these plants. I think they all look so much happier. Like, I just can't believe, I can't believe it took me so long to find pods, but thanks to Target, <laughs> not sponsored, obviously. I mean, if you want to Target, hey, but thanks to Target for these beautiful pots. Um, it's honestly just what I was looking for. Um, the perfect size, the perfect length, not too giant um, and not too expensive, which I love. So yeah, um, huge shout out to Target for having those. Honestly, if you've been looking for something like that, run to Target. They also had them, like I obviously got, you know, the white color, but they did come in like a terracotta e orange as well. I mean, they're just plastic, so it's not obviously a true terracotta, but it gives that kind of look if that's what you're going for. Um, and I think they may also have black. They just didn't have any by the time I got to the store. So yeah, definitely check out Target if you've been looking for nice rectangular pots for your crawling plants, or if you just want to make a cute planter arrangement, check out there. But yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.